in Wuhan or Shanghai or Beijing or Shenzhen or Guangzhou or anywhere. So the, the sesame oil, now these noodles are not gonna stick. And if you could smell this already, it already smells like we're halfway there, which we're not, but it smells like it. Okay, so um, we got, the only thing that I could not get at all that the Wuhan hot dry noodles has is preserved mustard stems. I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. So, sue me. We've got pickled long beans. Instead of pickled long beans, we have pickled asparagus because pickled long beans, you can get them in Los Angeles. You can't get them during a quarantine when you can't even get bread. So, um, we've got chili oil, cilantro, scallions, Chinese black vinegar. This is going to be ridiculous. Um, following all these directions here, toss the noodles together and serve hot. Wow, that's it? Okay. That's it. We're pretty much... <laughs> this is... No wonder this stuff's so good. It's so easy. Um, here we go. Uh, key tips. Uh, restaurants pre-cook. Um, adjust the flavor and thickness you're unlucky. Note the thinner sauce is easier to mix with noodles. Duh. Be less vinegar. Pinch of cilantro. Hold the scallions. No, nope, I'm doing all of it. We're doing all the ingredients. We like all of it. Hey, Ryan, while you're throwing that together... Can you give the people at home three tips for an up-and-coming songwriter? Three tips for an up-and-coming songwriter. Number one, figure out how to play your ten favorite songs of your lifetime. If it's the Beatles, the Beach Boys, uh, Billie Eilish, One Republic, obviously. Uh, learn those songs. Learn the melodies. Learn the choruses, the lyrics. Learn the shape of them, the melodies. And then what I do is I learn them. Then take the chords, try and take the chords, like, for instance, take like um, Counting Stars, take the chords, or Rescue Me, take Rescue Me, take the chords of Rescue Me, erase what I'm saying, erase my melody, erase the lyrics, write a new song on top of those chords, and keep writing, write five songs on the same chords, until you have a song that feels as good as Rescue Me. That's my, that's my uh, quarantine challenge for you. Uh, number two, um... Go on YouTube and, and, and watch as many video, videos as you can as song, on songwriting. And by that, I also mean go on and watch Songland. If you want to know how to write, and I'm not saying it's just because I'm on the show, but we are, it's the only show in the world ever that is actually writing songs in real time. You see how our brain works, how we're changing things, how we're moving them around. Songland is basically a documentary about songwriting. It just happens to have a competition with it. Watch Songland on NBC, Hulu, however you can get it. I don't know how you get it. Just get it, watch it, because that, is, that would be my best. That's like inviting you into a songwriting session. Number three, make friends with other songwriters. Get on Instagram, get on SoundCloud, track them down, find songwriters, get the community, start writing together. Iron sharpens iron. Those are my three tips. That's it. All right, so we're making hot dry noodles. They've been making this stuff since like the 1930s, 40s. Um, and it's pronounced ri, gan, mian. I'm probably mispronouncing this, but it looks like Regan Mian. Hot dry noodles. It's the top breakfast choice in the Hubei province of China. Wuhan happens to be right there. We don't have alkaline noodles, sadly. We have Italian pasta, but it's very, very similar to lo mein. Alkaline noodles is kind of a version. Um, we have, uh, we've followed all this stuff. I'm just getting the exact ingredients here to make sure that I'm not messing this up. And this is, this is prep time, servings for two. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna multiply this. Okay, so start by prepping the sauce, boom. We're gonna get a bowl right here. We're making the sauce. Hey Ryan. This is not gonna take that long by the way. Do, do you cut the bottom of your pants? No. No, they come like that. They come like this. All right, so. And I don't know what brand. You keep asking. I don't ever really pay attention to it. Um, if I see pants that look like something I'd want to wear, I just buy them. These are like this, and I think I got them at Urban Outfitters. I think. Uh, have you ever written a song for Ariana Grande? Yes, I've done three songs with Ariana Grande. Listen to Why Try Ariana Grande Why W H Y Try, and then Google Ariana Grande um, Faith. Remember the movie Sing? At the very end of the movie, I wrote the end title: Stevie Wonder and Ariana Grande. I got faith in you, baby. I got faith in you now. You may have got to get it so good in me. I wrote and produced that. So check that out. What a collaboration. Yeah, Ariana Grande and Stevie Wonder on the same song. Who knew? 
we, we, we got nominated for Golden Globe Award for that, and we lost to La La Land. Thank you, Justin Paul. You screwed me. <coughs> all right, so we've got three tablespoons of sesame paste here, all right? I'm going to actually make it about, it needs to be more closer to five. And that's going to be one. That's going to be two. That's going to be three. And I need to use the other one. Sesame paste is basically tahini, in case you don't know. If you've ever had Greek or Lebanese food. Four, five, there we go. Boom, sesame paste, added, done. When is, when is season two of Songland season starting? Season two of Songland is April 13th. Are you allowed to say who your favorite guest is or is that not public information? Um, that, I can't say who my favorite guest is. That's oh, sorry, not favorite. Can you say, can, are the guests public or not? Um, yes, the guests are public. So it's BB Rexa. I don't want to recite all of them from memory right now because I'll mess it up. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, it's, yeah, we've got, we got her, who's a total badass. Her is on there. We got, oh my God, Florida Georgia Line, <clears throat> Lady Annabellum, Usher, Ursher, um, BB Rex, uh, um, I'm like trying to recount. Julia? Albums. Huh? Julia? Yeah, Julia Michaels. Julia Michaels is on there. Ben Platt is on there. Um, did you say Florida? I did say Florida, Florida. Georgia Line. Luis Fonzi is on there. Despacito. Uh, we have a crazy song with Luis Fonzi. It's a, I think it's a monster. Um, yeah, now I'm listing everybody. Uh, who else do we have on there? Whatever. I'm, I named six out of the ten. I don't want to name all of them from memory because I will undoubtedly forget somebody. Um, all right, so I don't have – all right, so we got one table – one and a half tablespoons of dark soy sauce. So, tablespoon, teaspoon sugar, boom, watch this. I'm just kind of making this stuff, guys. This is the dim sum dipping sauce, which is going to basically replace four of the ingredients because it has all four of them in it. And if you're, I, what, right, so my favorite food in the world is Asian food. Everybody, that, anybody that knows me knows that. Asian food is my favorite, all Southeast Asia. Japanese food, sushi, like, I like chicken rice in Singapore. I like hot dry noodles in Wuhan. I like um, dim sum in, 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 in Beijing and, you know, Shanghai and, and Thai street food, Pad Thai, like, I mean, all of it. I just love Asian food. I love the flavors. Um, one of my favorite things in the world, though, is dim sum, pot stickers. The Din Tai Fong that I went to in Taipei, the original, I think that's the first Din Tai Fong, one of the greatest meals I've ever had in my life. And that's the sauce right there. This is their um, this is their dipping sauce. That vinegar soy sauce business that they put down is so ridiculous. All right, I'm guessing on this stuff right here. I'm honestly making this up. Uh, I'm gonna do like two tablespoons. I don't even know. I'm just gonna make this up. Hey, you think you could hit them with a chorus of this one? They're dying that they didn't get it in the uh, oh, Bud Light Jones, concert. Yeah, you and me were kids. There you go. Sauce. Stir it in. Boom. Here we go, guys. Dark soy sauce, light soy sauce, one teaspoon sugar. Add a few drops of the water. Boom. This is crazy. Is this really just it? This is the sauce? This is it? Hold on. Add one teaspoon soy sauce, teaspoon light sauce, master sauce. I think we have it. I feel like I'm cheating here. This is too easy. What's in the sauce? Are you kidding me? Wuhan hot dry noodles is the bomb because this is like way too easy. This is, this is crazy to me. Okay, so all we have to do, we're almost done guys. I'm gonna heat up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna boil some water, we're gonna add the noodles back in one more time to heat them up like we're serving it from a street cart. Ooh. Important question. Yeah. When is the native listening party going to be? Today's Sunday, right? Yes. Tuesday. Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Or should we do it? During the day? 
One DM would be the ideal time, wouldn't it? Well, why don't we ask him in the in the comment section Guy, here? You tell us what time Pacific Coast Los Angeles, because you're all over the world, Guatemala, Philippines, Asia, Seattle. Tell us what time of day you think makes the best sense for you guys. I think 1 p.m., 2 p.m. is universally the best time around the world, but you tell me. You tell yeah, me. should we should we do it like the regular 6, 7, or should we do it 1 p.m.? You tell us. Oh, uh, urgent message. Cope says, hi, Dad, winky, smiley face with the tongue out. Hi, Cope. Okay, I'm going to try the sauce real quick. That's bomb. That's so freaking good. Wuhan hot dry noodles. Bam! That is, that is so freaking good. You, you don't know how good this is. Okay. Um, I'm going to... We've got... We've got... We've got garlic. We're basically set. Um, I'm going to heat up. I'm going to toast some cashews. It's kind of a weird thing to do, but I'm going to do it. Just because I want some crunch. This is what you, what's great about Asian food. You can kind of add whatever you want to. And if you're at one of those food stalls in Wuhan or um, Hubei, uh, Shanghai, they have, all this, they have like the standard hot dry noodle. Like here's your selection that you can add. Which is basic, but then it, it, it go, it's far more extensive than, than what I have here. You, there's so many different things you can add to it. If you wanted to add a protein, like chicken, you could, I guess. You could add sh little tiny shrimp, whatever you want to in this dish. But um, we're keeping it vegetarian tonight. We've had some meat earlier today. We're, I'm not trying to eat a bunch of meat right now. It doesn't make me feel good. So we're trying to keep it as vegetarian as humanly possible. Um, and what I what does go good with this with a hot Asian noodle dish? And I'm not just saying this 